Hi everybody, it's David Bott here from OutsideOurBubble.com and today we are going to upgrade the firmware on your Ubiquiti Nano Station. Um, so basically it's been a long time since we've done the tutorial on how to build a private network inside of your motorhome. So today we're going to tell you how to upgrade the firmware if you haven't already done that because it's good to be current and it's been quite literally almost two years now since that tutorial, which is still current, by the way. They have not changed how it works or anything, so that tutorial is still current. So we're going to go ahead and make a very quick video on how to upgrade your firmware. Now, don't worry. None of your settings will be lost. It will do an in-place firmware upgrade, and once it reboots and everything, you'll, you'll be right back to where you were before, but you might have a few more options or a meter or so that wasn't there before will be there. And But other than that, it'll be 100% the same as how you were to use it. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing you do is you bring up your nano station screen, just like you normally one when you were gonna when you were gonna connect to an access point. So basically come up to your screen at the 192.168.2.1 and then uh, of course if you changed it you know what it is so just you just um, follow along. <laughs> go ahead and log in and uh, you're gonna get to your screen. And when you do, this is right now showing you a couple pieces of information you're going to want to know. The version number um, is what we're currently at. The current version as of this video is version 6. I'm on version 5.69. Version 5 I can't talk today. Uh, and the important part, though, is noticing the radio type. It's an XM, so it's either going to be an XM or an XW radio. That's important because if you have to download the firmware, you need to know which one to download. But if you're online and connected, just like we are now using the nano station, the easiest way to do it is now to go over to the Systems tab over here, click on that, and then click on Check Now for an update. And It'll come down at the bottom here. It's telling you the firmware version is available. Okay, so all you have to do, very simply, is click on update. And when you do that, it is gonna, it's gonna load the firmware. It's gonna bring it down from their website and put it into RAM um, on the nano station. And once it does that, it's gonna give you the option to upgrade. And that's all you're gonna do is you're gonna click that button and you're gonna wait. And it's gonna have a menu bar at the bottom, or excuse me, a, a bar at the, in the middle of the screen with the progress bar and it's going to upgrade the system to be version 6. So this is almost down done down done boy. I really can't talk today. Hey, you know me, I just kind of do these in one shot and it works, it works. So any case, here it is giving you the license agreement after it downloaded. Just click on the agree button there and now right here firmware to ver upgrade firmware to version 6, you would just click the update button. And when you do that, there's that box I told you that would come up, and you don't power the thing off, you just let it run. Just let it go and wait. And then after this box gets gets full, you can then log back into the same one and you'll be on the current version. So I'm gonna pause this right now because this will take about three minutes and then I'll be right back. It's still going, it's still going, la 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 la, still going, I'll be right back. Yep, still going. At this point, the radio is about to reboot itself, so that's a good thing. Um, if you were watching the radio when you did it, you'd see these lights flashing back and forth um, as it was doing its thing. But in any case, as you can see, we're getting closer. I'll be right back. Okay, so now it has rebooted it automatically, and it brought you right back to the screen to log in again. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that. And you'll see... We are now at version 6.0, and if we and you're back, it brings you right back to the last screen you were on. So um, this is good. So if I go back to the main menu here, you'll see. Oh, look, we got a we got a new menu, but we got a new memory gauge and a CPU gauge. And other than that, nothing's really the same. When you go to do your wireless, you still click on wireless, you still click on select, and you still do your normal selection to do things. Um, it's as simple as that, really. Okay, so for those of you who don't have it that simple where you couldn't just click it and it did it all on its own and you're not online. If you want to download the firmware, you can also do that. That's as simple as going to the system page again. Um, you can do check now and it's going to tell you that um, it's the current version. So maybe that wasn't the best thing to do. But what you can do is go to the Ubiquiti website, ubnt.com. And then uh, actually it just came up with a window down there. Let's go back to that real quick. 
check now. Um, it tells me I have the latest firmware, and then but you can go to the downloads page if you want to. Let's just do that, okay? That'll make it a lot easier. So you click right there at downloads. It'll bring you to the page you need to go to, and then if so. If you're not connected to your Ubiquity right now and, and you want to do this manually by downloading it some other way, you would just go to ubiquit, uh, ubnt.com and click on download. Um, so your screen would look more like this. And I don't know why I'm doing all this. Click on downloads over here. And then what you want to do is you want to scroll down and you want to select, you want to select the Air Max M series. Now remember, there's two different versions of this. There's an XM series and an XW series. You need to make sure you're going to get the right one. So in this, in my case, it's an XM hardware. So I would just download the 6.0 XM hardware by clicking this over here. It's going to give me an agree page. I click agree, download file, and it downloads to my desktop, and um, I would then be able to install it. So once I have that, I would then, uh, if you already downloaded it to your desktop and you go to the system screen here, to install the firmware, all you have to do is click Choose File, find that firmware version, which is right here for me, click Open, and then I would hit Upload. And then it'll do the same thing. It'll put it up in RAM. It will then um, give you the option to go ahead and upgrade, and you, you click Upgrade, and it goes through that whole process. That's about it. That's upgrading your firmware on your Ubiquiti Nano Station. Now, don't you feel like you're empowered enough to do it? Yeah, go do it. Have a good time, enjoy yourself, and remember, be safe when you're surfing online. I'm Dave Bot from Outside Our Bubble. Bye. Hey, if you like our information, please subscribe. Click that button now. Go ahead. Click, click, click. Thanks. Bye.